Hello fellows, um, today I'm going to teach you how to clean a t Nintendo NES and a Super Nintendo game with merely a Q-tip and rubbing alcohol. Um, <clears throat> this rubbing alcohol uh, is 70%. Um, you want to get 70%, not 90, not 100, but 70%. So let's get into it. Um, basically why a game doesn't work when you put a game into your Nintendo, what happens is these connecting pins, this is the repair part that's in a Nintendo, they actually go together. They just slide right in. Um, basically the pins on the 72 pin connector get wore and corrode and also the pins on inside the game start corroding it's uh, to me it's kinda like a car battery um, you put your car uh, your battery post on um, it'll start corroding and eventually won't work same difference um, this connects to your uh, this is inside uh, your Nintendo NES motherboard and basically, if it, if it corrodes, it, it's not going to get the information that it needs to start the game. Uh, I could go into a little bit further details about it, about the CIC chip, which uh, you, you'll get a lot of blinking and, and um, blank screens from, uh, from the CIC chip. Basically what it is, is a chip inside this game and the system. If they don't communicate, it starts resetting. The system think that that there's an illegal copy of the game in the system. So let's get to it. Basically, you take a Q-tip, uh, moisten it with the alcohol, and we're gonna rub the inside pins. Let's see if we can get a closer view of these pins. It's the long strip. It's it's almost like a um, a, a board, a computer chip board and it has the pins on the inside. So we're gonna use this and we're gonna rub the top pins first. We're gonna go back and forth. Uh, we're gonna put uh, uh, pressure on it. You're not gonna break the, the board. You may break your Q-tip first. So uh, scrub it like you're scrubbing dishes. We need all of that corrosion off. Pull it out and I don't know if you can see the corrosion. See the corrosion on the Q-tip there? We want that off. Uh, this game is pretty, not not as bad as most games. Get uh, you know, a game that's been in a system for 20 years, it'll come out and it's really dark. So we're gonna keep cleaning this. Keep rubbing the pin. And it gets a little darker. So we're gonna, once it gets kind of smudged, you want to actually ch uh, change Q-tip. So we're going to change. We're going to keep going. Just back and forth until we get all the corrosion off. So it's not white, but it's just a little smudged. So uh, that's the top side. We're going to dry it off one time. Just a little bit of smudging, so we're gonna flip the flip the game over, and now the the opposite side pins. Um, remember, uh, there's these pins are on both sides, and they connect both ways. So we're gonna keep scrubbing. Ooh, yeah. This one's dirty. Um, if you use dirty games in a system that has a new pin, you're gonna wear that pin completely out. Um, I recommend cleaning your games ever so often just to keep that pin from going. If you buy a, a system like the ones I have for sale that has um, the CIC chip, um, the CIC chip uh, disabled, and new pins or adjusted pins, 
you're not go you're not going to have problems as long as you keep your games clean. If you pick up a, a game at a flea market that's been sitting out, uh, you know, in someone's basement and or sitting in a game for you know the last 15 years, um, most likely that game's got corrosion on it, and you're going to stick it into a new system that has a new pin, and it's just going to build corrosion that much faster. So. You want to keep your games clean. Um, I recommend doing this once a year. Um, also, if you get any games at flea market, yard sales, uh, basically anywhere, um, you want to you want to clean the pins just like the way I'm doing. Um, there are better ways to clean these games, uh, but it it takes more than something that you might have in your household. Uh, there's actually uh, bolts or screws in the back of the games. Um, when I clean a game, normally I'll get my security tool out and pop these three screws out, get to the board, and actually I have uh, devices that I can clean the 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 board a little bit better than a Q-tip and alcohol. But um, this is this you get the gifs and this will work. And um, so. Um, if you have any issues, uh, please uh, message me. Um, if not, then uh, thank you for watching.